Hey everyone, Win here and in today's top 5 video, I'll be showcasing my top favorite evil team moments throughout the Pokemon games. Sit back and enjoy the hype! Before I start, I'll be picking out stuff right out of the original and remakes of the Pokemon games throughout the years. These will be the messed up and super evil moments in the Pokemon world. So number 5 in my list is Team Aqua and Magma. Those two teams have done some bad things here and there, like in your second encounter with a Team Aqua or Magma team member by kidnapping a poor old man's Wingo called Pico. Here is one more how about that moment when Admin Shelly gave a bitch slap to one of the professors. Ouch. So we all know that the super evil part of Team Aqua and Magma is trying to awaken Kyogre or Groudon just to expand the sea or to create more land for the Pokemon. But there's one catch to it, in the process killing humans. So this is why they're at number 5 in my list. Oh Team Flare, with your love for fashion and trying to copy the Guinea Force with their poses, Team Flare has done evil deeds throughout the Kalos region. Like at one point, taking out the Kalos power plant, not just to be dicks, but for experiment reasons. Or that time when you reach the depths of a frost cavern, Team Flare and Mabel are bullying a poor Obama Snow for what reason? To start it in an episode in Finding Bigfoot? I say no, that's the easy way out. And good show by the way. Finally, did they ever expected a weapon of mass destruction to be used in the Pokemon world? No. Don't worry, I got you covered. Yes, Lazandre wanted to use this weapon that was once used in the past. This weapon has a bloody and super dark history. In order to use this weapon, AZ needed to sacrifice hundreds of poor Pokemons only to revive a Flolette. Plus it was used again to end the war in the Kalos region. And now Lissandre wants to use this weapon to wipe out the human race. In other words, eliminate things that are toxic to the Pokemon world. Team Rocket comes flying in at number 3. Okay, Team Rocket's only thing about is money and power. It's what Team Rocket has done in the games that make me sick. Here are so many examples, like, like the time when they blew up a big hole in some g random guy's house, killing a Cubone's mother, cutting and selling slowpoke tails in a black market, and stealing and selling those Pokemons, and even playing God in result creating Mewtwo. Yes, this doesn't sound too crazy, but the only reason it's at number 3 in my list is just imagine how many Pokemon suffered in Team Rocket's hands. <laughs> Team Galactic Man, not only its leader looks scary and is high on weed, or the thought that he has a few loose screws in his head, he has big dreams either way. A dream of recreating the universe and destroying the old one. Wow, that's crazy. In order to do that, like always, they needed to invade places, blow up lakes, and leaving poor, poor Magikarps left to die just to get the power in order to create this universe. That's not all. Using the Lake Trio Pokemon in a ritual to summon the Alga or Palkia depending what game you had, Pokemon Diamond or Pokemon Pearl. But to make things worse, in Pokemon Platinum, Team Galactic uses the Lake Trios and Dialga and Palkia in order to summon Garatina. One more thing, in Platinum, when defeating Team Galactic in the main story, a team member called Charon threatens to force a volcano to erupt in order to get money from the citizens of Sinnoh. Wow. This is why they're number 2 in my list, because they won't quit just like cockroaches. Finally, to end this lame list, psst, you got that right. Shut up. Team Plasma people, they are not the ordinary knights in shining armor. Their goal is to liberate all Pokemon from the trainers, and either by convincing trainers to release their Pokemon or by theft. So if that's not bad enough, right after entering Nimbasa City, you can find two grunts harassing an old man in Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. To make things worse, they kidnapped a young girl's Pokemon and held it hostage. Let's not forget about those seven sages trying to steal a few Pokemons, like Muena in the Dream Yard, Volcarona in the, at the Relic Castle, finally trying to capture Victini at the Liberty Garden, 
In Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, they have done some evil deeds, but not comparing to this, remember? Yes, when I first encountered this part in the game, I was shocked and an actual attack takes place in a Pokemon game. This is why Team Plasma is number one at my list. Yes, the story in the Unova was well done. On the other hand, in the anime version, it's a completely different story. Here's a little bonus for you guys. Remember the remodeling of the Victory Road and the Elite Four building with the castle coming right out of the ground? Well, in my opinion, it was the ultimate insult to the friendship between Pokemon and trainers. That is all. And who is your favorite evil team in the games? Liking my work will be a big help. And one more thing people, have a great day.